Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Business Chemistry. Now we have discussed another important lecture in uh, palladium catalyzed C single bond C formation reaction. So now this is the Buchwald Hartwig reaction. Buchwald Hartwig, they are uh, in, in individually they are synthesized as some uh, like a palladium catalyzed compound. So in previous cases we have discussed about uh, like a new C C single bond case. Okay, now in the, in this uh, like a definition also, I will say that uh, another is new CC single bond uh, formation reaction. It is not a new CC single bond formation reaction. Okay, now here it forms the carbon nitrogen single bond instead of carbon carbon single bond. Now here it forms the carbon nitrogen single bond reaction. Now let us discuss the simple definition: palladium catalyzed coupling of argano halo or triflate argano halo or triflate compounds with the amines in basic medium with the mines in basic medium those type of reactions are called butchwald hartwig reaction so now the general representation here it is the rx or r triplet rx or r triplet with the help of uh, like a uh, our uh, like a uh, proton containing amines so this is the minimum requirement so at least one proton is required so proton containing amines uh, in presence of like a palladium catalyst palladium catalyst as well as a like a basic compounds a basic in presence of a base now here it creates a, like here it is the r here it is the nitrogen r r so here it is r dash r double dash r dash r double dash with the elimination of a hx with the elimination of hx so here it is eliminated so it follows uh, like uh, our uh, old methods so that is a uh, Ptolemaic cyclization pathway so generally the new thing in the butchwald hartwig reaction is in all the previous cases we will synthesize new cc single bond now here in this case we are synthesized carbon nitrogen heterocyclic that is uh, sorry hetero hetero single bond formation reaction here carbon and nitrogen single bond formation reaction so this is the major difference between the like a uh, uh, remaining uh, palladium catalyzed reaction and um, butchwald hartwig reaction butchwald hartwig reaction so in generally the main theme of the butchwald hartwig reaction is so the general reactions uh, whenever we will introduce the we will prepare the like a uh, aniline type derivative so nh we will introduce on the nh uh, we will introduce nh group on aromatic ring so the general General things is so whenever the benzene ring having then it is a under the like a nitration mixture now it forms the nitro compound so then after we will reduce the compound then we will get the NH2 so here in the case of NH2 those uh, group whenever the presence of base will abstract the proton from NH we will substitute the some of the electrophiles that is the method so now here they are introduced uh, the direct uh, emination on the aromatic ring direct emination on the aromatic ring that is the best advantage in butchwald hartwig reaction in butchwald hartwig reaction now let us discuss uh, these reactions uh, here it proceeds through the like a large and chelating ligands only here the palladium so in the form of large as well as chelating ligands in presence of large and chelating ligands it enhances the it enhances okay so presence of large as well as chelating ligand it enhances the yield. okay now let us discuss the the Tolman cyclization of a uh, butchwald hartwig reaction Tolman cyclization of butchwald hartwig reaction now let us discuss uh, uh, like a catalytical mechanism of the butchwald hartwig reaction so here it is the palladium l4 the coordination number is 4 now whenever the ligand uh, two moles of ligand two number of ligands will dissociate now it creates a palladium l2 okay so the first step is uh, like addition of alkyl halide that is the electrophilic compounds now here the addition of alkyl halide it it becomes uh, like this like a oxidative addition step here it involves the oxidation addition, addition step now the presence of this which in the, which helps uh, so the this is the base o minus like a nucleophile plus so now here the nucleophile uh, sorry sodium plus these sodium plus and the halides which eliminated as a sodium halide now here it is the transmetallation step now here o tertiary butyl 
that is the L2, over tertiary butyl L2. Now the further additional step regarding to the our previous uh, reactions. So now here, so in the presence of like a NH amine compounds R dash R double dash. Now here it gives a L2 palladium. Here it is the R. Here it is the nitrogen R R dash R double dash R dash R double dash. Now here O T B U. That means some um, butyl uh, like a butoxide. Butoxide will obstruct the proton. Then it is eliminated as a butanol. It is eliminated as a butanol. Now here it is the like R N R dash R, R double dash. Now here it undergoes like a cis trans isomerization. That is the common thing. Now we will use the final product uh, R nitrogen R dash R double dash. This is the major product. Now here uh, the regeneration of our catalyst will happen. Okay. Now this is the simplest uh, reaction regarding to the butyl heart uh, simplest mechanism. So here the first step here it is the oxidative addition. In second step, uh, like uh, these two steps, uh, like uh, trans uh, transmetallation followed by the elimination. The final step is uh, reductive elimination. Final step is uh, reductive elimination. This is the basic thing regarding to the or which all the heart with the reaction pathway. Okay. Now let us discuss uh, some of the characteristics of the which all the heart with reaction. Some of the characteristics. So the first thing. So whenever the like uh, amine ligands are involved in the which all the heart with reaction, that means um, here the nucleophilicity of amines are com coming to the like uh, our point. Okay. Now the nucleophilicity of ligand. Nucleophilicity of ligand does not, that means uh, least account, uh, nucleophilicity of a ligand least account in butchwald hartwig reaction. Why? Because the nucleophilicity of amines, uh, uh, sorry, not the ligand, the nucleophilicity of amines. Okay, the nucleophilicity of amines uh, does not affect it on the our butchwald hartwig reaction. Why? Because so the amides can also use the Amides can also give the butchwald hartwig reaction. That means uh, less nucleophilicity uh, nitrogen containing compounds are also gives the like butchwald hartwig reaction. That uh, indicates uh, here the nucleophilicity of amine group does not affect on the our butchwald hartwig reaction. So here the case does not affected is not originally. So it is at least accounted. Okay, sometimes it is affected. It is not a complete unaffected. Uh, uh, not takes place. Okay, it is affected, but uh, it was a little bit account. Okay. Now the second case is. Uh, the, uh, however, the main theme of the butchwald hartwig reaction is uh, the emination of aromatic compounds. Uh, emination on aromatic compounds. Now, however, the emination of aromatic compounds, uh, aromatic compounds having the like as uh, different different types of substituents. So now the substituents on substituents on benzene ring can also least affected least affected why because more strained rings also can give the our reaction more strained ring also gives the our reaction now the third point now here it is the only account it is the only important thing now the ability of ligand the ability of ligand okay to uh, the ability to act as a ligand to act as a ligand of palladium complexes so this is the important thing. Now the ligand is the major important thing. Now the ligand nature of the butchwald hartwig reaction is major important thing. So in generally, so now here the chelation or like bulkiness of the ligand gives the more reactive towards like oxidative addition or reductive elimination like a transmetallation steps so that's why we are used uh, some types of uh, like a uh, very useful ligands in the butchwald hartwig reaction it is a uh, n methyl taken twice here it is the like uh, n methyl taken twice here p cy2 these uh, cy indicates uh, like a cyclohexyl group now th the third case is the xanthones now generally these type of compounds are called chromonyl uh, groups. Now here uh, however we are using another benzene ring that means here it is the xanthone groups. PPH2, PPH2. Okay xanthones. So these type of xanthones again uh, some of the like a complex compound, complex uh, palladium complexes. Here palladium OAC. So here it is uh, phosphorus uh, tertiary butyl. Tertiary butyl, tertiary butyl, tertiary butyl. So these type of uh, ligands will help to uh, introducing of the amine group on uh, benzene rings. Okay. Now, however, uh, the another point is 
fifth point, the aromatic heterocyclic compounds, the aromatic heterocyclic compounds can also gives the Buchwald Hartwig reaction. Buchwald Hartwig reaction in the presence of hindered ligands only. Now here the criteria is in presence of hindered ligands. So not the simple ligands cannot give the like a uh, heterocyclic aromatic uh, aromatic compounds uh, in Buchwald Hartwig reaction. So in the presence of hindered ligands uh, such as uh, PCY2. So this is the rings. O methyl. O methyl. These type of hindered rings. In the presence of these type of hindered rings, it gives the aromatic heterocyclic compounds also a Buchwald Hartwig reactions. Buchwald Hartwig reactions. Now let us uh, discuss the, some of the key uh, key examples regarding to the Buchwald Hartwig reaction. Okay. Now we are looked out uh, some of the problems regarding to the Buchwald Hartwig reaction. The main theme of the Buchwald Hartwig reaction is the introducing of amine groups and uh, aromatic rings. Okay, so the generally these are the uh, like uh, several types of aromatic rings. Now we are introduced the such of uh, amine compounds. The minimum criteria for the amine is it having the at least one proton. So the presence of a base will abstract the proton, then it creates the like N minus that is the nucleophile which are attacked over the like a uh, electrophilic center of uh, aromatic halide. Or triplets. That is the major criteria, a major thing, not only criteria. Now, okay. Now, who has looked out the problem number one? Here it is the like OH group that is phenol compounds. Now, here it is nitro compounds. Here it is the like heterocyclic compounds like um, uh, uh, pyridine derivatives, so pyrazine derivatives. So, those, those type of compounds. Okay. Now, what are the compounds? Uh, the All the type of functional groups which are tolerates in the like our Buchwald Hartwig reaction. Now, here the uh, like electrophilic center that is the alkyl halide. So, our uh, nitrogen that is a NH methyl phenyl compound so these two are eliminated now it gives the simplest product N methyl phenyl this is the OH so this is the first product regarding to the our question okay now in the same 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 thing here it is the NH here the presence of bears here over the like a NH CH2 phenyl that is benzoylic group that is a benzoylic group which are which is also represented like this sometimes NH like a Benzyl, not benzyl oxy, it is benzyl group. It is a benzyl group. Now, here, uh, this is the also, uh, this is also an uh, amine group. Now, however, the synthesis of uh, biological synthesis of the groups which are like a precursors, like a very small type of precursors. Now, here it is the morpholine rings, here it is the pyrazine rings. So these are two types of rings which are used in the our Buchwald Hartwig reaction. Whenever uh, some of the functional groups uh, or some of the like a uh, uh, halogen position of the aromatic rings which are protected by the like uh, morpholine groups, whenever we will want to like uh, increase our the chain uh, of our uh, chain any drug synthesized molecules uh, increment. Uh, now we use the like pyrazine as a mediator compound. Okay. Now here in this case we are used in the uh, like a uh, morpholine. So in the presence of a base, here it attacks the morpholine NH. Okay, here it is the morpholine, here it is the nitro compound. This is the simple thing, simple product. Now here in the in the presence of like a aromatic heterocyclic compounds, these are the aromatic heterocyclic, these two. Okay, so in the presence of hindered ligands, hindered ligands, we will get the product, our expected products. So now here, like N methyl phenyl. Now here also the same compounds. Uh, the major thing is a major thing is a very easier when we know the concept of these type of catalyzed reactions. And now here N methyl phenyl. So these are the five examples. Now let us discuss uh, some other examples regarding to the our Buchwald Hartwig reaction. Now we have solved some of the problems regarding to the our Buchwald Hartwig reaction. Now here it is the uh, NH group uh, which is in the form of amide. Okay, so in in previous cases we have discussed the amine group either uh, cyclic amine or general amine. Okay, now here we have discussed the like amide compounds. Uh, cyclic amides are called lactams. Now here these NH proton uh, again uh, here nitrogen nitrogen as well as carbon of the aromatic halide will forms the new bond. A new single bond. Now here it creates the carbon nitrogen single bond. So here it is the 
like a four member cyclic ring four member cyclic ring now let us the let us look down the another problem here so meta position of this ribomethyl here ester groups are also tolerates the our reaction this is a young methyl formamide and methyl formamide we will not obstruct these proton whenever the nitrogen having the proton then only it is only replaced it is only replaced so this proton will replace the our group now here it creates nitrogen here methyl here it is the formaldehyde so here coo methyl this is the second example now let us discuss the eighth one it is very pretty easier compound now here it is the pyrazine pyrazine having the two types of nh groups the, that is the two types of uh, cyclic uh, nh groups these two are uh, more reactive whenever we use the direct reaction of the compound then here both the sides will attack attack takes place uh, that means uh, both the sides electrophilic addition products are getting okay now here that's why we are uh, protect the one of the nh group uh, over the another okay now let us take the one equivalent of benzaldehyde we will get the one equivalent of uh, uh, protection protected product now here this is the like pyrazine nh here it is the pyrazine okay now when one mole of benzaldehyde are, are used that means uh, here it creates the like this type of a product nitrogen okay now here it is the this type of product when we used the like a reduction okay now we will get the product like this n h n benzyl n benzyl this is the protected compound now here it is the second site of the uh, like a pyrazine nh uh, will react with our uh, like aromatic halides so now next we will give the product like this nitrogen so here it is nitrogen which is protected so nitrogen here it is the benzene compound that having the oh group that having the oh group finally we used the like a hydrogenation in the presence of a palladium charcoal palladium charcoal here it creates the like a, here it is it undergoes the hydrogenation on the nitrogen carbon compound now here it gives the like a nitrogen nitrogen h this is the OH. Now here we will protect the compound with the like a successive steps of benzaldehyde followed by the reduction. Now here deprotected uh, with the help of hydrogenation uh, on the palladium charcoal surface area. Palladium charcoal surface area. This is the eighth reaction. Very easier reaction. Now let us discuss the uh, problem number uh, uh, nine. So this is the compound here also one of the group which is uh, already protected uh, either in the form of uh, like a protection or a direct compound. Now here the second site only active in this case. Okay. So the, that is the active site of the pyrazine ring will attack uh, uh, our compound. Now we will get the product like this. Okay. Now here nitrogen. So we will attack the aromatic compound here R dash. Here it is the nitrogen. OR dash nitrogen OR dash this is the product uh, so here we used the like a up reagent in previous cases we are used uh, like a uh, uh, xanthops reagent or xanthop ligands okay now the final the final example is now the final example they are already they are already protected the one of the NH group in pyrazine now we will get the product like this nitrogen here nitrogen here H here it is the benzyl group. Here it is the benzyl group. Whenever the presence of palladium, so here uh, lithium nitrogen TMS taken twice. That means here uh, uh, like a lithium basis, uh, lithium basis uh, N minus uh, will obstruct the proton from the hydrogen. Now here it is RCl. So uh, here the uh, like uh, an unavailability of a space. I will write the R group over here. That means um, like a meta uh, like a trifluoromethyl. Uh, benzene meta trifluoromethyl chlorobenzene now here in the presence of palladium complexes uh, we will get the product like this nitrogen okay here the nitrogen here it attacks the like compound meta position having the trifluoromethyl group a trifluoromethyl group here it is the benzene okay now then uh, they are given in the like uh, sometimes uh, they are given i think i i, I, I I did a mistake. I did missed out the reagent. That is a, like H2 followed by the palladium charcoal. H2 followed by the palladium charcoal. In the presence of H2 palladium charcoal, now here it is a deprotected. It is a deprotected nitrogen. Nitrogen. Here it is the compound. Here it is the compound. So here CF3. So here it creates the active NH of the pyrazine compound. Now the finally we will give the like a para nitro uh, two 
trifluoromethyl uh, chlorobenzene. Now here it gives the final product as like this, nitrogen. Here nitrogen that is pyrazine compound. We have in the right side CF3 aromatic ring, left side CF3 like a nitro compound, CF3 as well as a nitro compound. Okay, this is the final product regarding to the our butchwald dart reaction. So these are the very easy examples regarding to the butchwald dart reactions. Thank you for watching.